Okay, he's gonna do some cooking this morning. Why don't you just go ahead and put it right in the middle, so like this. There you go. He's trying to earn his cooking merit badge. We already washed the hands with some hand sanitizer. We got the disco from Southwest Dish there in Albuquerque. Love this cooking on this thing. So we're gonna get the bacon going. I guess uh, probably throw some potatoes in there, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Rock and roll. All right, uh, here we got uh, some bacon going. I can hear the coffee pot percolating now. It even smells delicious in here. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, just like coffee should smell. So, <clears throat> we're gonna do a little bit of Hungry Jack's potatoes. Uh, it's cheating, but that will work today. Wife says we spent too much time cooking and cleaning. We need to have more fun at the ranch. So, we'll make it easy this way. All right, now we are uh, doing the eggs, so just scrambling them up. And I like tortilla, he don't, so I'm gonna have mine on a heated hot tortilla. And uh, we're just gonna eat like kings out here now, get some refills on a coffee, and go in the warm tent. Enjoy. Uh-oh. Hear gunfire. Somebody must be hunting. All right, our camp chef is gonna cook us some uh, carne asadi tonight. I call it carne asadi, carne asada. We're gonna use the disco again, get it warmed up. He's gonna peel some onions and get that started. He's gonna cut up the meat. And uh, we're gonna get started. It's today's Saturday. Uh, we got a little bit of a fire going inside. Uh, a couple things. We got the fire started. I don't know. Got to get gosh darn. Forgot to get a, a thermometer, but it's got to be at least above 80 in here. We got the little uh, Mr. Buddy heater going today also, and we got this thing going. So uh, we should uh, be nice and toasty today. All right, we're cooking away now. Everything's looking good. Uh, Right, it sure smells delicious with them onions and the seasoning on that. I tell you, this is a nice flashlight too. I really, uh, I don't get paid for anything or nobody gives me anything. I just like these guys over at uh, Boyd Hawk flashlights, 1000 lumen flashlight here. Batteries have been going for probably since August. Four C's, we've had camp outs with the uh, uh, Boy Scouts. We've been out here a couple of times. I've been a cheapskate, but you can see it gives a pretty good shine. I can get that tree lit up. Uh, maybe you can't see it so much with the camera, but uh, anything close, it really lights up good. You can see uh, it's got a nice beam to it. So hopefully we don't see any eyes out there. We've had some stalkers out here before. But good stuff, huh? What's up? Looking pretty good. It smells delicious. What's over there? I'm going to try to hit like a shot or There's Buddy. He's a good indicator. All right, here's the difference for the uh, what do you call it? The uh, Voidhawk 1000 lumen flashlight. You can see it just lights up this whole area it's like a nice little spotlight I just put new batteries finally I hadn't done it in a while but 
yeah, it uh, makes a difference. Like I said, those batteries I had were old. I think they have one. You can see, like, takes that whole tent down, or takes the whole tent lit up, and then the you can see the zoom is just really good. Hopefully we don't see no lights, no eyes out there. We've seen that before. Been stocked. But then here's the full widescreen. But it doesn't want her cook like it's a dunk it or something. All right, we just got done eating. Cook. We had some company over here, George. I guess he drank too much beer. Well, he's a Coors Light drinker, he said. I never seen him drink a beer in my life. But hey, we're just around a tent. Everybody's getting cozy. I got the chair over here because it's too hot in here. We got this fire going, that fire going. Anyways, we're just playing with our toys. It's pitch black outside. The moon's not out yet. Running out of battery, gonna have to go give this thing a charge. Hey, George, tell us some stories about the old days when you were a rancher up in the. George used to take his cattle up into the wilderness in the summer times when he was 14, 15 years old, going on cattle drives. He has a bunch of stories, but he don't want to share. Don't be a, don't be a rosca, George. Tell us. Sharing, sharing. All right. Good morning. We. Had a good night, slept good. It, it was cold, but uh, we kept the uh, heater going. We had uh, the wood burning stove. We had to, uh, probably went to bed around 11:30. Got up again at 1:30 to stoke it. Then again at 5:30, and then we woke up again at 8. So uh, usually get up earlier than that, but was a little tired, so it was allowed us to sleep in. But Michael's starting breakfast. He's making uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit of the same as yesterday, except for we're doing the potatoes. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, we're doing sausage instead of bacon today. So, Let's see, add just a little bit more oil. Not bad for a 12-year-old Boy Scout, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, looks like we're ready to roll. Got a little bit of tortilla warm. Did a good job again. Makes it easy on this walk. Cleanup's pretty easy, so. All right, good morning, everybody. We're uh, we made it. We are all ready for church. You can see we got a full crowd. Here's a church that uh, has been in the area, built in the 18, 1860, I believe. All right, we're gonna cook up some chicken tonight. Lost my helper. 
he wanted to hang out with his cousins today, so they went to town, did some other things. He hasn't come back. But uh, we're going to cook up some chicken. I'm going to use some Blue Booster here. Seen on one of the YouTube videos, and I got uh, some Traeger chicken seasoning. We're going to try to do a Dutch oven cake. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We're going to try to get everything started. And on the coals here, over here, got those burning, so should be ready here in a little bit. All right, we got the peach cobbler done. Got the chicken already on the coals. Um, had done this in a long time, so it's kind of a. All right, I can smell the chicken cooking good now. Uh, a while ago, I took the uh, lid off, and man, it was steaming. I think it's going to come out nice. So, just experimenting. I don't know a whole lot about Dutch oven cooking. Trying with the. Uh, pie there too we'll see how everything comes out hopefully uh, we have a nice little dinner here right now it's probably around seven o'clock I think I put these on around 615 and uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna let that chicken cook for an hour an hour and a half uh, the uh, cake should be done anywhere from 45 to an hour Hopefully, uh, everything works out good. All right, we'll see how the chicken's coming. It smells delicious from out here, so there must be a little bit coming out. So I'm saying it's probably been here about 40, 45 minutes. Oh, you can see that. It smells delicious. Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. a little bit you can see uh, pie looks like it's come along just delicious too <clears throat> all right uh, this has been in here I'm thinking about 45 minutes an hour so I lost track with the uh, progress I have going on in here. So let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Starting to look down there. Chicken's looking good. Let it cook a little more. I just want to make sure it's nice and crispy. So what I ended up doing is uh, I thought they were chicken breasts, but they were chicken strips. So we'll go with what we got. Give the uh, cake a little bit more, and let the potatoes do about another 30 minutes. So uh, just in here waiting for the food to finish up. I'm going to give it another half hour, so I think it was, I just tested with the meat, uh, with a uh, meat thermometer that said it was about 140 degrees, so I'm going to let it get up to about 180, 190 just to be safe, but uh, while I was out there, heard a bunch of dogs barking and then hear coyotes going, so last night uh, there was quite a few um, I don't know. I can't. I can't really tell. So I got a cousin that lives up a mile and a half up the road, and they said that they were going full blast up there. So I'm guessing that they were kind of in that area. She said it sounded like they were actually fighting with each other. So uh, that's always kind of eerie when you're out in the woods, knowing that the uh, coyotes are that close. So, anyways, uh, if I get a chance uh, out there tonight. Uh, when they start going full force, uh, I'll try and see if the 
phone can pick it up. Alright, let's see what the cake looks like here. Oh yeah, I think that's ready. Man, that's going to taste good. Alright, uh, that's kind of what dinner looks like tonight. A little protein, a little carbohydrate, well maybe too much carbohydrate with the potatoes and the cobbler, but <clears throat> I don't know, that's a uh, cobbler doesn't look like it came out too bad. Let's see how it tastes. Alright, uh, that's kind of what dinner looks like tonight. A little protein, a little carbohydrate, well maybe too much carbohydrate with the potatoes and the cobbler but <clears throat> I don't know that's a uh, cobbler doesn't look like it came out too bad Let's see how it tastes we're out here there's a raccoon out in our camp a second ago seeing if we can find him camps over there Where's your uh, book for that thing? It's in the truck. Buddy's been acting all weird. He's been going all hunter dog style. When they see an animal in the cartoons and they have one paw up with the nose. All right, we had a long day. Got a lot of visiting done. Went to church. We got some cooking done. Did the chicken and the potatoes and uh, what's the other thing we made? The peach cobbler. We came back, picking up Michael down the road, and we started to eat some dessert. That's when we got the stalkers, and we had uh, a raccoon, I don't know, I think Michael said he got a video of it, I'm not sure. But, little bastard, he must have liked the smell of that peach cobbler. At least they got some fans. Might not have anybody on YouTube that really gave a shit, but if you could bring the raccoons down to visit you, I think that's a that's a that's a compliment. So I uh, just checked that low was supposed to be like forty something. So it's like, man, we can do that with our eyes closed. We're not even gonna keep the fire going really tonight. Right now we. We uh, we kind of got it stoked so we could make some coals. I think uh, we'll probably put a log in there, but man, it's like unmiserably hot right there. So I was gonna show you a shot of the kid over there. I really believe that he was supposed to stoke the fire with logs tonight, but I guess we'll just let him sleep good. I told him, I was like, let's just get bundled up. We, we went to the bathroom one last time. Get bundled up. These bags are really warm. Got them over at, uh, gosh, what's the name of that place? Uh, I know, they always got good bags there. Sportsman's Warehouse. Yeah, I've always liked the selection there. So I think tonight, you know, whether we got we got a game plan, we're just gonna stay in the bags, get a good eight hour sleep. I gotta get up in the morning for some work things real quick, but 
we can get this going. We'll get in the bags, stay, stay all night. I guess I could do a little bit of a discussion after this sleep apnea mask. And I've been using these little uh, batteries. Here, it's called the Die Hard. But, uh, you know, this, this new sleep apnea machine I got, it only gives me about uh, one day. What I do is I take it down to one of my uncle's house every morning and get it charged, but it, uh, if I don't, it doesn't, it's not 100% by the end of the day. So, uh, one of my friends, electrical engineer, he told me I need to get the uh, car adapter and plug it in there and he says it'll work a lot better save me on the amps and stuff and he goes I could probably get two days out of it so I got one and my uncle's got one so what he does is right now mine's is still charging from yesterday but by tomorrow it'll be a hundred percent but without this thing you know unfortunately because of my weight I wouldn't be able to come out here and uh, sleep it would just be miserable I mean I'd be I'd be up uh, every hour or so usually when I not get oxygen I have to go to the bathroom all the time so and then I just wake up feeling like I drank tequila all night with a headache so uh, being able to use this out here in the, in the woods with no electricity sure makes it a uh, convenient but I guess there's other other setups uh, I'm not really happy with uh, the one this is since it, since it eats so much juice it takes so long to get up you know I was recommending it when I first got it but I'm not too happy about it anymore I am thankful that I can come out here with this thing and have a good time but I tell you uh, I can't I can't have a good night's sleep without that mask and I was on the rebound there where I was lost about 30 pounds and over the summer with all the barbecues and all the good stuff the good food be eating too much beer drinking I ended up uh, bringing it on, bringing it all back. So we got some work to do. We get on all this good cooking. Everybody's been. All right, it's 5 a.m. Monday morning. Um, I had to get up and do a couple things for work this morning, and uh, started here and pattering on the roof. I can't believe it. It's actually snowing. There's no snow in the forecast. But uh, it's not very cold. Let's say the temperature's probably still above uh, 40 degrees. But the snow's coming down. We just let the fire die out and I mean it was horribly hot this last night. Actually got that thing going too hot and had to take a sweatshirt off. Really got in a sleeping bag and Starting to warm up and didn't take very long. Bought this carbon monoxide detector. Everything I've read about Mr. Buddy saying that there's no carbon monoxide. So we'll see what the day has for us with snow. How how much the snows? All right, you can see uh, it's not snowing anymore. It's a little bit after six. There's the moon, but uh, man, that's pretty over there. Look, you got some orange clouds. Cloud seats to be moving that way pretty good, right? 
right there kind of low, but yeah, it looks like it's actually clear right there if you can see the moon, right? So we got the snow stopped. Really wasn't sure what to expect or if we're going to get any more today. But, Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Uh, the thing I, I hate out here is when it gets windy. Put up with everything else but the wind. Ain't nothing warm about sunny New Mexico. <laughs> Somebody said, hey, have a good time in sunny New Mexico. Where's the sun? Where's the heat? Anyways, we love the cold. Rather have the cold than the hot, so... We're doing good.